Oh, don't contaminate the pickles! I have to throw away all those pickles. Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV! And war... War never changes. It's time for a new show. Okay. <laughs> Fallout. Ah, uh, yes. Based on one of the my favorite video, video game, game franchises. Yeah. I've, no, I've played every version of Fallout. Mm -hmm. From Fallout 1, Fallout Tactics, and then lately Fallout 1776, the online one. I'm a huge Fallout fan. I have a Pit Boy somewhere. I couldn't find it, though. Yeah. What do you know about Fallout? It's like post-nuclear Fallout dystopian sort of situation, right? Yeah. It's like a zombie game, but without the zombies. Post-apocalyptic. With, with just, yeah. Survival. I love a post-apocalyptic tale. Yeah. And Walton Goggins is in this. Oh, nice. Okay. Our favorite justified bad guy. I am a fan, yeah. So we're going to be, you know, double dose of... Goggins, Goggins. Oh, googly yeah. Goggins, all yeah. week long. So uh, Amazon just dumped all eight episodes of this season, but we're gonna watch it one episode at a time so we can absorb it all. Really, get find really it. irradiated. Mm, I love it. All right, you got, Sweet. Your, you got your Rad X ready to go? Oh yeah, I forgot my Geiger counter upstairs. But your new Coca-Cola. We'll have to do it at the Geiger counter. Nuka Cola, don't have any of that. You don't have any Nuka Cola? Not just water. Well, should we jump in and get some? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for Fallout. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to it. this one, come or access to polls, helps pick up our snacks. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Fallout. Here we go. Well, just like the game intro. The end. We're starting at the end. There he is. He's doing his best Rabble Ringler impression. <laughs> it's so weird because it's like futuristic, but also like 1950s. Yeah. I kind of love, I mean, I definitely love the 1950s, but kind of love the blend of the two. Arrows. Ow, I can't. Uh, I can, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. Only thinking happy thoughts. <laughs> Sugar Bob presents Grognak the Barbarian and the Ruby Ruin. Oh, I love Grognak. You ever watched Grognak the Barbarian? Never heard of it. Let's say ever drop a really big bomb. I told us to hold up your thumb just like this, and if the cloud is smaller than your thumb. Now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your son? <gasps> oh, good. All right, one piece of cake coming up for my favorite cowgirl. Is it your son yeah. or mine? We'll just hold on to each other. That's smoke, Janie. It's just a fire. No. Hold on to her, please. Oh, God. He already knows it's over. That's why, like, maybe you should just fucking hold on to your kid. Because you're going to die together. Hope that horse can ride like the wind. Oh, another one? Oh, God. There's nowhere to run to. Worst nightmare ever. I think we don't live anywhere close to that city. No kidding. 219 years later. We'll just have to deal with the fallout. S scarier, perhaps. Dying a slow death of starvation or... 
My primary passion is teaching American history with a focus on ethics. I also participate in gymnastics club and I dabble in riflery. So I'm not very good. <laughs> Did she okay miss all the targets? <laughs> so the bombs dropped in 2077. Hmm. I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner. At least one I'm not related to. And we have rules about that for a reason. So <laughs> that I hereby submit my application to the council to participate in the triennial trade with Vault 32. She wants to swap so she can find a partner. Mm -hmm. Fresh meat. Where they don't speak? <laughs> they, don't, they don't talk? They picked for her? They picked her partner? I know. You share wedding dresses. 2094. 2294 was the last date there. On my wedding night, that dress got off almost as fast as Bert did. <laughs> Goodness. After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. Ew. I am just excited for us to raise our kids together. <laughs> 10 years of cousin stuff. They, they live in a vault. There's not much. Hopefully that means like extracurricular activities to do. Just hanging out, playing cards and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kissing cousins. Dad. My little sugar bomb. Oh, that's a Twin Peaks guy. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd never step foot outside Vault 31. When did it go away? The moment I met your mother. From that moment on, Vault 31 was a distant memory to me. So he must have been another trade wedding. I imagine they all are, don't you? Yeah. You're breaking. Your husband could be anybody. I'm aware. And as for his looks? Who knows? Big butt, no butt. <laughs> yeah. Who's behind door number 32? It was until maintenance and I came. Yeah. What's going on? Lucy, I love you. <laughs> Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but it's not a sustainable long-term sexual practice, you know? <laughs> Me? Times are different. I gotta get over it. Times are different. <laughs> Welcome, neighbors from Vault 32. So, who am I marrying? <laughs> Who's it gonna be? I'm Lucy. Do you have a name? Monty. Lucky. <laughs> she probably had to marry her cousin. I mean, when you're repopulating the Earth on a set population of people, there's going to be a little bit of... Crossbreeding. Yeah, yeah it's going to happen. It's kind of unavoidable. It's Vault 32 people are a little rough looking. So what's your sperm count? Uh, Hi. Good evening and welcome to the proud Denison's of all 32. I don't think they're vault dwellers. I think they're outsiders. I think they might have broken into the vault and took it over. They look a little rough, yeah. don't they? Well, after 200 years, we don't know much about what's up there. They're like, we know. <laughs> and such a beautiful bride and her new husband. And I am not afraid. He does look a little feral, doesn't he? Yeah. To Lucy McLean, and to this marriage, and to hope. I do find it interesting that there wouldn't be more, like, cross-vault activities, right? Yeah. Are they trying to just take over Vault 33 while the festivities are going on? Are they trying to get the resources from it? Mm-hmm. 
Show me to my new home. The brother senses something. Mm -hmm. right? He knows something's up. They're, all their jumpsuits are also... Their vault suits, they're all dirty. Right. right? The hand-me-downs, an icebox, a blender. They, they even gave us... Hello. Okie dokie. <laughs> He's got scars on his back. Yeah. The table, really? There's a perfectly good bed right there. She apparently knows what she's doing from the cousin stuff, huh? <laughs> I was wondering how they got to each other. They have a tunnel in between. Okay. Doesn't look like blight. So they had to burn all their crops. She's still wearing her dress. Ew. <laughs> Wiped himself all the curtains. They're a restroom? <laughs> oh, boy. Are they cannibals? If you don't know how to grow and maintain crops and create your own food, what else do you do? Good sound. Yep. Oh, boy. Boys are strong. Do they do knife training? Looks like it. I think, he got, I think she got she him. She got him. Oh, he got her. Well, Lucy didn't last long, did she? Ooh. I spoke too soon. Leave it in. Leave, leave it in. Leave it in until you find someone to help you. Oobly. <sighs> no, she'll be fine now. She's like the game. She'll be fine now. <laughs> Auto heal. People are gonna be dead. Oh boy. No, oh, that looks like a just a dart gun. What's the dart do? This is why you don't do more cross vault pollination activities, <laughs> huh? Oh, jeez. Forked right in the eye. Sir, please don't make me use force. Do you not see what's going on here? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Cool. How does he not know what's going on? Like, it's happening right... I think right... he was covering the gate. Still, he doesn't hear the gunshots mm. and shit? The brother made it back? Hmm. Sister coming in clutch. Oh, this shithead's still alive. Oh, jeez, he's still alive? I thought she got his throat just his face. Good job, Daddy. Uh, it's awesome how the film is burning up and it's like its own atomic bomb. Yeah, yeah. Great imagery. It's a cool juxtaposition of that. Yeah. Oh, don't contaminate the pickles. You need those for probiotics at this point. I have to throw away all those pickles. There's gotta be some guns laying around. Ah, oh, shit. I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. So I'm going to offer you a choice. Them or her. You are my world. I don't understand. He chose her. I know, I just don't understand why she wasn't just included with them in the death thing. You look like your mother. See, I'm confused. Where are you taking him? To the real world. You should see it sometime. How does she know her mother? No! Maybe you should do what you do best. No! Run and hide. Watch out. Would that have killed everybody else? I don't know. I'm so confused. Oof. Just ganging up on the guy? Really setting a stage here for something. Characters. Mm -hmm. We got Lucy's intro. Now we're in Max's. These in-game characters? No, they're just, I think they're the main characters of the show. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be introducing them if they weren't. In Fallout, you always play as a Vault Dweller. Oh. And it's whoever you create in the character customization. It is the duty of the Brotherhood of Steel to secure the Wasteland. One day as squires, you will help knights find and identify pre-war tech. The Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, uh, Rotor. Shit. Unless you know what to find and preserve, you are more useful as a corpse. Just because he doesn't know what it is doesn't mean he doesn't know it's not it's important, yeah. <laughs> You can look at it, something and say, hey, that that's important. I should Find take this. It. Yeah. And then you don't have to know what it's called. Holy drones. If that's post-war tech, then what the hell are we looking for pre-war tech for? Maybe it's not. Those in the game? Are what? those in the game? Yeah. Power armor. They don't have printers, so they gotta graph it out for themselves by hand. Shitter's full. <laughs> Looks so heavy. I guess there's probably robotics that help you move it, huh? Yeah, it's powered, so it... Yeah. Aspirin, Dane? Oh, dang. Every time I look at you, I fall in love. 
<laughs> brick ball. Basket My brick. Favorite pastime. Every shot's a brick. <laughs> oh. Selected for the armor. Hey, what's your title gonna be, Squire? Tonight, Titus. And get this, we're going to the wild. Hell yeah! You are. Oh, he's losing his only friend. Still on latrine duty. That hole's not deep enough. Dig a bigger hole. He's worked that job so long, you can't even smell it anymore. What the fuck? Acid in the boots? Oh, shit. Oh, I thought it was him? He was the one that found him, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Just two staples? She'll be lucky to not die from infection with that. I would have gone with like five. At least three. One on each end and oh yeah, four, maybe two in the middle. That many people survived? We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. To the surface? We can spare But you're talking about opening the outer vault door? Just for under Seems minute. like a horrible idea. We're brainstorming here, and there's no bad ideas in a brainstorm, Maybe but that's not something- No, that's a bad idea. To maintain the security of this vault. That means not opening any of our doors. Well said, Betty. Yes. I'm with Betty. <laughs> the end. They don't want to find that. If they did, they wouldn't get to be in charge. <laughs> At some point, Everyone's expendable at some point, right? There must be some sort of succession succession planning, right? There's probably somebody that was vice overseer. Yeah. It was probably Betty. So, yeah, there's... Let Betty have her moment, you know? She's old. She probably won't last out much longer. Hey, Davey. How's your day going? Bad as everyone else's. <laughs> She's making small talk. The two boys that love her are gonna help her. <laughs> she gonna be pregnant with a radiation baby? I don't know. I don't know what he didn't tell us what his sperm count was. Mm, hopefully zero. He was irradiated, so. But then again, he was obviously born after the, f in the fallout, so. Mm -hmm. Take care of Norm until I'm back, okay? Your brother's name's Norm. <laughs> Love it. I'm going with you. Chet, what you're doing is insane. You don't even know which way to go. Does Chet know where to go? I'm not letting anyone else get hurt on my behalf. Oh, rude. Oh no, there's your right, dude. Lucy! Lucy, no! That didn't work. <laughs> Just closing the door behind her. It's a slow moving door. Should have brought some sunglasses. She's gonna get so sunburned. Not good. The people that were trying to get in when the bombs went off? That would be those people. The ash, the piles of ash. Yeah. There shouldn't even be bones, I don't think, in. Most of that situation. 
Now that's something. Is that Santa Monica Pier? I don't know. Looks like the Pacific Ocean. Okie dokie. Yeah. Okie dokie. Like, what building would that be? Interesting. What, what building would that be? Mm -hmm. We have given you a name, food, Ooh. education. A place. Oh, I thought, I thought he was saying his name was now food. <laughs> Oops. I understand you're a friend of Aspirant Dane. Yes. You're aware of their injury? Yes. Do you know who did it? No. Think he did it? Violence? against a brother of steel is a sign of weakness. Oh, it's the other five that just kicked his ass yesterday, right? Yeah. Like, what the hell? If I can help the Brotherhood make it better, Eden or whatever, even if it means giving my own life, I'll do it. His voice keeps changing. And I'd be grateful to the Brotherhood for giving my life meaning. I wonder what kind of accent he has that he's trying to hide. I just feel like he's getting the courage to say what he's saying. When you will be Knight Titus, new squire. Knight? They promoted him. Mm -hmm. The squire. Knight Titus is new squire. I think that's what he said. Oh. Remember, knights have squires in medieval times. I don't know. They asked if it was you. Yeah, they asked me the same thing. I told him you wouldn't hurt a fly. A toilet seat, yes, but a fly, no. Do you think it was him, though? I don't know. And their friend, his friend knows. It is your most sacred duty to protect your lord, Knight Titus. To <laughs> burn his fingerprints into him, huh? His initial on his T for gauntlet. Titus, yeah. The denizen of the Enclave has escaped. The Enclave's real. <laughs> An object of profound potential to harm our nation. He kind of looks a little like Denzel, doesn't he? He does. Go forth with honor. Who's the target? The dad? Is it Lucy's dad? Nope. No, that's Ben from Lost. Yep. <laughs> oh. You dismissed Aspirin. That wasn't Vincent the dog, though, from Lost. No, oh, no. Different dog. Vincent was a lab that was definitely a... Looked like a German, a German sh shepherd. shepherd kind yeah. of guy. I can't believe they actually built one of those for the show. Yeah. Looks pretty good, though. It does, yeah. Killed by a baby leg. Baby leg bazooka. <laughs> can't wait to see the baby legs flying out of that, that bazooka. <laughs> Don Pedro has our friend dug up once a year. That sounds like Bubba. Bingo. It is. Don, you said you knew this guy. I said I knew of him. My pop worked with him once. They ran into each other in a show back in the day. A feral goon can't abide a chicken. If he goes for him, we kill him. It's science. Obviously. Feral goons are like dogs. They can't help themselves around yeah. a chicken. He's not in there. <laughs> That's Walton Goggins? Yeah. 
How's he? He'd be like 220 years old. Well, he looks mutated. The radiation made him live forever? Well, just an Amish production of the Count of Monte Cristo. Just the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. Then where's his daughter? <laughs> oh, it makes you think I'd give a good goddamn about that. It ain't where they's running from. I figured you'd be interested in is where they's running to. Dead witch. Moldy. In California. Oh, the witch. Is that, is that the one that took over? The leader of the Raiders, you think? Mm -hmm. And what the fuck would you know about where I'm from? Mm. So his daughter died. I do this shit for the love of the game. <laughs> Ooh. Head clean off, huh? Was he shooting a uh... bazooka? Like a potato gun, kind of, but like with a other railroad things. spike gun? They have those in the game. Ouch. Am I going to take his chicken with him? Well, okay. Do we think there's something after? Fall out, baby. When they drop that bomb. We can probably just talk about it. Through the fallout. It's a scary thought. Nuclear bombs and stuff. Scary, scary yeah. stuff. Just uh, hope for the best. Can we not talk through this? Oh, I, I didn't know. We were, I thought we were still watching. Sorry. All right, episode one in the books. All right. What are your thoughts? Interesting. Yeah. So we've met our three main characters. Yeah, following the story from three perspectives at least. So we got Lucy, who's a vault dweller. We got Max, who's a brother to steel. And then, ghoul. And then the ghoul, which is the actor from Walton Goggins before the bomb drop. Right. He's been alive for a long time. Or dead for a long time and just... Well, the way they were talking to him, it sounds like he has been in that world before. I mean, somebody just put him back down. Yeah, I don't know. I'm interested to see more of Walton Goggins' character, the ghoul's uh, history. Yeah. Because it sounds like the way they were talking to him is like, you know of this guy, right? Like, he's been up and down out of his grave. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Doing bounties and stuff. That's why they wanted to hire him, because he's got right. a reputation. So, And then we also heard of the other faction, the Enclave. Mm -hmm. Which I think is the remnants of the United States government. Okay. Trying to, it's been a while since I played Fallout. It's like what's left of government yeah. sorts of situations. Trying yeah, to yeah. get power back, but there's all these other factions. Then you got the Raiders, and, you know. Yeah. Everybody else living in the wasteland. So it'd be interesting to right. see. I was hoping we'd go back to Lucy for a little bit, but we went back to the introduction of the ghoul. So yeah. I'm sure we'll start with Lucy next episode. So I want to see what she does. She just walked out into the, the wasteland. And that the, was yeah. the start of her story. Yeah. yeah. They've yet to meet each other, but I... I'm sure they'll run into each other at yeah, some point. Like a little Wizards of Oz storyline here. Maybe. They'll all unite somewhere. And they're looking for Ben. Yeah. From Lost. Lost. Mm. So, wonder what... Weird. Kind of shenanigans he's up to. He's Nothing good. Special power that could end the Brotherhood of Steel. That's what they're worried about. Could be. Interesting. Well, and the then, Enclave's worried about him, so... He yeah, could so take down the ghoul is... Sent, that was the target for the ghoul as well. Mm -hmm. And the Brother of Steel. But Lucy's just looking for her dad, who might be kidnapped by the witch that they just mentioned. A lot of moving pieces. So, yeah. It's going to be... A little breadcrumb sprinkled there. It's going to be interesting. See how they all link together. going to be interesting. Yeah. Well, uh, whose storyline did you find the most interesting in this first episode? Uh, Lucy's... Yeah. Myself, just because I like... Survivalist? Yeah. About your own vault? I love the idea of having my own vault. Start, you know? start digging. Well, hell back there. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm telling you to do it. If I could do it myself, I would. <laughs> be great if you helped. Yeah. I, I'm interested to see more about the ghoul. Mm. I want to know his story. 
I mean, kind of know. I want to know the in betweens of where we saw him at the beginning of this episode and where we saw him at the end of this episode. Yeah. Where has he been for the last 220 years? No idea. What happened to him? Yeah. Because uh, he was kind of in the blast radius of all his He should have died, I would have so. assumed. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I don't even know with where those bombs dropped. It that was obviously L.A., right? Yeah. And she was she came out of the vault at the Santa Monica Pier. I'm assuming. That's, I'm trying to remember if that's it. I think that's the Santa Monica Pier. How does one get to a vault in time, unless they were already there? Right. I need to play Fallout again. It's been like a couple of years. Well, if it happened in ago. L.A., Santa Monica, if you're anywhere close yeah, to Santa Monica, there was a lot of bombs probably... dropping. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if they had time to get to the vault, but Perhaps. maybe they were already in the vault just in preparation, right? Could be, I guess. Anywho, this is a good first episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm enticed. Got my hooks. It's got, got, got its hooks in me. So we'll get seven see. more episodes for season one. All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out for episode one of Fallout. Come back next week for episode two. Yeah, and what Easter eggs did you find in episode one of Fallout? For sure. I saw a couple of them. Pretty cool. Yeah. Let us know all the Easter eggs you found. There we go. Right. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to reviews, one with comedy access to pull ups. Pick watch next. Thanks down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.